what's up what's up what's up y'all so welcome back to my channel so i'm doing you know a little valentine's day look so i was using the essence what is it called it's the uh fix and last makeup grip and jelly primer and i actually like this like it's not that like it's not crazy expensive you can get it like i'm sorry <laughs> I just be like, I can't talk sometimes, but you get it from Ulta, right? And I just make sure I cover my entire face with it, you feel me? You know, make sure my whole base is smooth. And I'm just jamming the music, like, it was really a vibe. I wish I could play the music. Like, Tony Brexton, I've been in my Tony Brexton, like, I don't even know, like, what the, like, I just love her, I love her. And now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Concealer, I don't even know what it's called, but it's a Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 15. And I'm just basically filling in my brows because I love me a good blonde brow. Like, I'm telling you, I would probably do my, like, brows blonde every single day. Like, if it went with every single look I went to do, I would do them every single day. I would bleach them, but, mm, I don't know. Because everyone who I've seen who has, like, bleached their brows, the girl, like, when the hair be growing back, like, this shit, I don't, I, I, I can't look like that. Because, mm mm, like, mm mm. Because somebody definitely gonna say that, and then say, somebody's gonna say something, and that's gonna hurt my feelings. So, like, no, we're just not gonna do it. Because I can't look crazy for like a month. I can't do it, but I really can't. Mm mm. I love blonde brows, so I'm just gonna, you know, I use mascara now, but like, this, I love this technique too. It just depends on, like, what do I have time for? <clears throat> my face. But I'm going in with a spoolie, right? Just because I want to make sure that, like, all of this is, like, blended properly, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want no, like, caked up concealer because I got to set it. Period. You feel me? And I'm taking my RCMA powder, the no color powder. This is my baby. I've been using this for years. Like, this is my favorite translucent powder. I've been, like, trying to, like, look for, like, new translucent powder. So, like, I'll update y'all, you know, if, you know, this is still, like, my favorite in, like, a month or so. Like... But for real, for real, like, I love this powder. Like, you can get it at uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics, like, their website. They have, like, a bunch of different, like, products and stuff, like, because they're really for, like, professional makeup artists and whatnot. But, like, I've been using it. I'm not going to lie. I think I made my first order in, like, 2016, 2017. I don't know. Like, I was either in high school or, like, fresh in college. And now I'm taking my Thread Beauty Concealer. I think the shade is 7. I don't have it anymore because I ran out. But this is one of my favorite concealers. I'm not even going to lie to you, like... I actually have to like go and like restock on this because I love it. Like, I don't know, it just like it looks so cute. Like, and I love like the actual shade. So yeah. I would definitely be restocking. You can buy them at uh I think Target, but like they be having deals and stuff sometimes on their website. So you know, just do you know what's convenient for you. And then I have to clean up my eyebrow slit because I want you to see this eyebrow slit. You feel me? And then I love a good fluffy brush. I don't even know. I guess this is like a highlighter brush technically, but it's something about using fluffy brushes to blend out your like makeup and stuff, like your concealer foundation. It just looks so much more flawless. Like, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. But I've been like finding a new eyeshadow base. So like right now I'm just doing like the concealer all over my eye as like a base, which is cool. It's cool. But I used to use like the P. Louise bases. So like I've been trying to find like or a placement and I think I want to try I think it's Slay Ready Cosmetics they're a black owned brand and I'm not gonna lie the eyeshadow palettes look beautiful they have like lip products and like face products too like they have foundation they have concealer and whatnot and I'm not gonna lie like I didn't really want to place an order I'm just trying to figure out like what the hell do I actually want to get because I like when I tell you I've been rebuilding my collection for like the last couple months like my personal makeup collection get into it get into it <laughs> But, uh, what was I listening to? Spanish Guitar. If you have never heard Spanish Guitar by Tony Braxton, go ahead and go listen to it. Like, I'm telling you, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's giving, like, oh, if I ever go to Barcelona, baby, I would be performing that song and Amigas Cheetahs and Strut. Like, I, first of all, I perform the whole Cheetah Girls 2, like, whole soundtrack. Like, be fucking for real. Like, if anybody ever want to go, if any of my friends want to go to Spain, like, I mean, I, there are other places I would rather go to, but if, like, anybody ever just want to, like, in the future go, let's fucking do this shit, because that shit sounds fun as hell. Okay, so now I'm taking the... Oh, excuse Shadow. Hold on. Okay, so I was saying that I'm taking the, the Danessa Myrix Color Fix, the matte one, and they're waterproof and whatnot. I love these. I'm not going to lie to you, but this is the shade Blackout, and ugh. Oh, oh my God. Alchemy of Bank Rose. That's my fucking shit. Like, um, I might have to play this shit. Hold on. Hold on. Like, get into this. 
this is not sound like a damn vibe. Mm. But let me quit playing because uh, what YouTube not finna do is copyright my ass. I said I'm not getting copyrighted this year and I'm trying my hardest to not get copyrighted. But anyways, I'm taking the Beauty Bakery. Like they have like, do you see these brushes? Do y'all see these? Do you, they're so cute. Well, look at the one with the wisp because get into it. Like I love creative makeup products and like the fact that like her whole brand is based on like just like expressing yourself like and she's a cancer survivor like if there's any black owned businesses you go and support this month go ahead and check out beauty bakery and Danessa Myricks. like go on their website first off sign up for like these loyalty programs because y'all be if y'all don't buy stuff from these folks websites and sign up and get points because you be getting them for rewards like if you don't spend the money you might as well you know get the rewards that can come with it like we gotta be smart let's be intentional if we can if we can i understand but you know let's try let's try but yeah i was feeling like alchemy and bank rolls was playing and it was just hitting it was hitting but i'm taking a glam light icy palette and i got mine from i think it was from marshall's but i know some tj maxx have them i think and like maybe some rosses but uh it's the fact that I really, this is why it takes me so damn long to do my makeup. Well, part of the reason why, because I'm over here hitting the whole routine trying to do my makeup. Like, and I had to cut this clip down. Like, when I say I was over there dancing for a good minute, like, mm, girl. But I don't even know what shade I took. Let me see. I think I took the shade Sweet. It's like the deep, like, burgundy vibe. Like, and I'm just layering this on top of, like, the black, because I didn't necessarily want black eyeshadow like i just wanted like a deeper base you know to just make it like pop a little bit more i'm not gonna lie i really want to get the white shade from the, uh the nessa myers color fix lines just because you know i feel like you have to like you have to have a black and a white like uh, it's just essential well at least for me for my makeup but what the hell i'm trying to do yeah it's essential uh what shade am i taking oh my god i didn't even see i think that was treat yeah <laughs> So we're back, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. And okay, fun fact, I do my right eye first and then I do my left eye and I do step by step. Like I could do like one whole eye, but I'm not gonna lie to you. Whenever I do one whole eye, mm -mm, like I be forgetting steps and stuff. And now I gotta figure out which shade I just use cause I don't even know. Well, I think I use Flavorific. Uh, it's like this red shade, like, it's giving kind of cool vibes. It's so crazy because that's how I know I've grown, like, as an artist and whatnot. Because I can tell, like, the undertones and stuff. Like, I can see the undertones in, like, paint and stuff. Like, like acrylic paint type. And I can see the undertones in, like, different makeup. Like, foundations, eyeshadows. Like, and I'm just like, <gasps> our artistry has evolved. And I love to see that for me because... I've been doing this for a minute. Like, I started face painting. I was face painting, like, I think that was, like, middle school at least. I started in, at least. We ate it up. We ate it up. But uh, let me quit talking and, you know, go ahead and tell y'all what the hell I'm doing. So, I took fruit. No. Okay. On the outside, I'm taking Frosted Cherry, which is, like, a deeper red shimmer. And, okay, so Ulta has these, like, cotton, like, they're basically Q-tips, but they're just shaped differently. But I love the ones that are called like dual tipped cotton applicators. Like the one that you see in this video, go to Ulta. They're like a pack of 75 for like $2.49, I think, or like $3. Like it, it's not too crazy, but I love using these for my shimmer shades because it just like, it applies so beautifully. And like the days when I don't want to put it on my finger, like I use these. And now I'm taking the shade, uh, fruity from the icy glim light palette and i'm just putting on my inner part of my eye yo ah uh, ate it up ate it up so you know i just had to show y'all real quick show y'all what it's giving what it's giving and then i want to try something new so like also the headband i'm wearing is also from about face but i also got this about face eye gloss that's what i'm using right now and i just put some on my hand because i feel like that's easier to like apply instead of like trying to swipe it on my face like mm, no and i'm just patting it on with a brush i don't even know what brush this is it's probably a brush i got from tj maxx not even hold you like majority of my brushes from tj maxx i do want to invest in like some higher quality brushes like the ones from tj maxx are beautiful like there are real techniques brushes there and i love them to death but i just want to you know up my game you feel me and now i'm taking the essence like liquid liner i don't know what it's called because i have no idea where mine is like is 
is literally MIA. So yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, that is my favorite eyeliner. Like I had to go buy a new one because I forgot to get this when I went to Ulta yesterday. But yeah, this, ugh, I love it. I love using liquid eyeliner like this to line my lash line. And I line my lash line to make my lashes like blend in better. So, you know, tip or whatever. And then I'm taking the About Face Mascara. This is the 1994 mascara. And I think this one is, is it volumizing or lengthening? Hmm, I don't remember. But I've been just trying different mascaras because I actually love putting like mascara on my like bottom lash line i don't really give a fuck about the top lashes because i'm putting on real lashes like so i don't really care how the top looks but the bottom like i need my lashes to pop baby and now i'm taking the embellished by Rowe reflex pack and i'm taking the red stones because i want to put them like above my eye because i had to do something extra like i was looking at this and i'm like mm, this isn't extra enough like so, like something's missing and it was these rhinestones so i ended up putting three on each side and I just stuck them down like these rhinestones actually have like a sticky back to it so like you don't necessarily need glue like if I need them bitches to like stick 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 like and I just want to like make sure they are secure then I'll put a dollar glue but you don't really need it and then these are some uh rhinestones that I got from the Beast Blast though and I just took this heart one at first I was gonna do like the regular like circle rhinestones that i normally do but something was like oh let's see this heart because i was like this is giving valentine's day and yeah so i put a heart in my brow and i love it <laughs> i love just doing crazy stuff like this now now i'm taking the more uh concealer this is the cc prep concealer in the shade tan 500 it's an orange concealer and i'm using the orange concealer to color correct so my under eyes they have gotten a little bit darker because your girl has not been getting all the rest that she needs to get you feel me i feel like nobody has been getting the rest that they need like and it sucks like what the fuck like but anyways like i use this to cover up my under eyes i don't always do this like i don't even remember the last time i did this but if i want like flawless like beat to the guys like then i'm going to do this but it's not necessarily essential especially if you if you're not putting on that much makeup i feel like you know you don't necessarily have to do this. I feel like it's just up to you. It's really preference. Like, that was my chair, by the way. But, yeah, it's really preference. It's not something that I do in an everyday makeup look. And I don't necessarily feel the need to do. Like, my concealer covers up my dark circles, like, pretty well. But it's just, you know, when I just want to be a little bit more extra. You feel me? And I'm just using this uh, beauty sponge from Beauty Bakery. Like, they have, like, a six-pack that's, like, in a little egg carton that you can get. And I love them. And it's, like, it literally... Oh, my gosh. Like, you should have to go on the website and look at the packaging because I love it. But I'm setting the concealer with translucent powder, the RCMA translucent powder, just because... I don't want my foundation or my concealer to mix in with the orange concealer and I look like a damn pumpkin. Like, I, I, mm -mm. that's not the vibe we're trying to go for. So, I just said it just to make sure. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but something, you know, confused me, confuzzled me a little bit. But, yeah, I'm just, you know, setting this and whatnot. Now, I'm taking my Juvia's Place concealer. Um, and this is in the shade 7. And when I originally bought this, I don't know why in the world I thought this shit was going to be like a, like a contour shade. Baby, no. This is skin tone. But it's cool with me because now I use it to clean the top of my brows. And I love this. Honestly, like, I used to use, like, the same concealer I use, like, under my eye and stuff to, like, conceal my brow. And, like, that could be a vibe. But, like, the harsh line. Because, like, sometimes you can't even blend, like, all the way close to the brow or else you're going to fuck up your brow like it's not gonna give what it's supposed to give but i love using like a concealer that's the same shade as my foundation to clean up my brows i just i think it just hits different and guess what we're trying the about face the performer foundation and honestly i love this foundation like i've been wearing it like a couple times the last month like i've been wearing that in my danessa Myricks like serum skin tint a lot and like when i want to do like a look look this is the foundation that i've been going for i love my rim beauty foundation the sweetener foundation is just that's not my shade no more so like i gotta change the shade because i look crazy as hell but this i love it like and you could tell like i was getting hype as hell because i didn't know what to necessarily expect like i kept seeing promo stuff and i ordered as soon as i got like the early excess email i was like hell yeah i'm about to order this shit so i ended up getting it and i'm glad that the shade actually like this is a good shade because oh my gosh like y'all know how it is trying to order different like foundations or concealers and stuff and not having any idea of how it's gonna look like this shit is screwy especially because like some of these like 
newer brands and then even some of the newer brands that are in the store like they don't be having the shade ranchers or like they can never keep things in stock especially because like i live in memphis so like there's a lot of black people so that means there are a lot of people who are like my skin tone or like a little bit darker or a little bit lighter so all of those shades be gone and like i don't understand why they don't be stocking more but you know I'm a, you know just mind my business i guess but i'm just over here just making sure like i have enough foundation all over my face and i try and go section by section like you can i guess you could put this all over your face at the same time but i'll be scared to like this shit gonna dry on my face so i just do section by section and then you know i make sure i get like good like around the rim of my face and whatnot and i go underneath my eyes just because i feel like that helps like my concealer like sit a little bit better but yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. <laughs> and then take my third beauty concealer again. And yeah, I'm just highlighting my face. So for concealer, like, uh, let me explain this. Okay. So concealer is basically, you know, concealing different parts of your face. But there's a difference between like highlight and the contour. And I feel like that might be what's confusing people. Like what I'm doing right now is highlighting my face. So I'm using a shade usually use a shade that's like at least like two shades lighter and some people you know i have a brightener like shade that's like probably like five shades lighter than me but those are for the days when i really want an high intense like under eye concealer but that's not what you necessarily have to do and i love using like big brushes and like fluffy brushes to blend out my concealer it just depends on like the look that you're trying to give but i can seal with a lighter shade and I conceal with a darker shade and the darker shade I do to contour my face just to add some more depth to my face because when it comes to me whenever I think about like creating like depth in like anything like you need three shades you need like a base shade and you need a lighter shade and you need a darker shade so that's kind of how I like you know I translate that into my makeup too like because really that's just like art technique that I like do with like my actual like color pencil illustrations but that also can relate to like makeup and stuff if y'all want me to like talk more about like different concealers and stuff like let me know but like i also put the concealer underneath my cheekbone just to like give it more depth that is not something that you have to do i didn't do this a couple of years ago like i just you know i like i tried it one time and i liked how it looked i don't do too much because i don't want it to be too much you feel me but i'm taking my third beauty concealer and this is in the shade 12 which is deep is cool and i i think that the third beauty concealers are beautiful i should just get i think they have a deep warm shade bless you but i think they have a deep warm shade and i feel like i had fucked up i'm not gonna lie i i didn't put it the right way as i was supposed to and that's why i looked crazy as hell but this is a cool shade and like cooling like shades with cool undertones are going to give you more of a like shadow effect if that makes sense like it adds a leaf like a little bit more depth than i feel like warm shades do but i like the warm shades because i like more of a bronze to look like i want the depth but like i like how it's warm and that's why like i want to try i think they have a shade that's like a little bit lighter than it or it might be like the same shade just like warm undertone so i think i'm gonna try that i just keep forgetting to look for it uh but yeah that is how I feel and I don't do too much like concealer for like this contour because I don't like I feel like every time I do like the concealer with the contour like it be too much and like I don't like a harsh harsh contour so like sometimes I just use like straight up bronzer like on my day to day like looks I just use bronzer like this is a day when I wanted a full glam like I'm talking about like beat the fuck down and that is why I have like this concealer on too. But yeah, it's not something that's necessary. Like you can do the same thing with like the powder. If you like for the contour, you can do the same thing with the powder. It just depends on like your personal preference because this is a lot of makeup on. And I know like some people have like said that they love my makeup, but like them self, like they would not want to have as much makeup as I had on. Cause this is a lot of makeup. This is like, a lot of makeup like this is not like just you know clean girl makeup like no baby this is makeup makeup like this full face you feel me full face but a tip for y'all like take your foundation brush after you do your like concealer and stuff and just kind of blend between the different spots and stuff and i feel like this helps so much just to try and create like a more seamless like blend but yeah 
I'm just talking. I've been talking so damn much. I'm like, God damn. The fact that I'm doing the voiceover, like, I feel like a content creator for real. Get into the skin. Okay, so y'all peep how, like, the gloss, like, I have creases on my lids, so it was starting to, like, I don't want to say separate, but it was not giving what I was supposed, it was supposed to give. But here I am just fixing my foundation because I realized that, like, some of it wasn't blended as much as I liked it to be, so, yeah. And to set my face, I take the RCMA No Color Powder. Sometimes I'll take my Beauty Bakery, uh, flower, uh in the shade ooh, if i want a pink one i'll take himalayan and if i just want like a golden undertone like powder i'll take plantain which is caramel but i don't even know if plantain is still available because this one's kind of out but i do love the pink one like himalayan is beautiful like i use that a lot too now but yeah sometimes i just want to do like a translucent look i don't really care about like the color undertones necessarily i just needed to be set and now i'm taking my danessa marix evolution powder and uh, i love this powder this is the most beautiful like full face like not even full face like all over the face like powder and i have the shade four and it's supposed to be priming smoothing setting powder uh and yeah like i mean i feel like you probably could prime with this i'm not gonna lie to you i use it to like kind of smooth and set everything in place because i feel like it's so much like my faces come out so much better when I actually set my entire face instead of just setting like, you know, my under eye, you know, everywhere I put concealer. Like, I feel like it gives like a flawless beat to actually set my entire face. And I have not always set my entire face. I love this bronzer, Beauty Bakery. Like, I love her, like, ugh, I love her. And I remember when she first came out and I remember like, I forgot, what did I first get? I think the first thing I got was that powder. And I tried something else, but like, I really can like order a lot of stuff online and like I didn't always see it like in stores and stuff but like the fact that they have them at some Ultos and some Targets like but no one really talks about them like but I love them but anyways this is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Snackaroons Bronzer in the shade Perfect Blend and I love this shade like this is actually like the perfect shade for me and this warm undertone so literally like it's everything that I wanted and then I'm going back in with my like uh, all over the face like brush just to make sure that like the contour isn't too harsh and then look at this cookie I made <laughs> I made this shit like isn't this so cute it's a chocolate covered strawberry like inspired cookie like brown sugar uh cookie base but I like split up the dough like I I blitzed like freeze dried strawberries in the food processor and then I added cocoa powder to like the other like I split it in half and then I did it that way I'm trying to like talk and explain this while also like focusing on what the hell I'm doing but I'm going back in with the shimmers that I used on my eye just to kind of like set the gloss because the thing is with me like I have creases like I was telling you like above my eye and stuff so like shit like that if it does not set like it will separate and I love the glossy look but like it was separating but i also love how i feel like the gloss slick acted like a primer you feel me like i feel like the shadows look so much more vibrant now that i put them on top so yeah i feel like that's kind of a vibe and i did like flicked off like one of the rhinestones but i ended up putting them back on and now i'm just taking some of the uh eyeshadows i'm taking that same shadow that i put on like on top of the black one and let me see what shade that was sweet i'm just taking it on my outer corner of like my bottom lash line because, I don't know, I feel like I've been doing my bottom lash line for a good minute and I, I generally cannot not do it. If I have, like, eyeshadow on top, like, I have to do something to the bottom. Like, I just have to. Like, it's kind of mandatory. Like, it completes the look. Like, if you know, you know. Like, it just hits different. And now I'm just taking flavor Flavorific. And I just, like, took that under my eye, too. And I just took that brush and just dust away any of the, like, eyeshadow fallout. And now I'm taking... I believe that was fruity and I took it on the other side of like that q-tip and that's why I love these because if you want to do under the eye because I love putting like shimmers under my eye I feel like it looks so cute and this is such an easy way to do it and not like get it all over the place like be intentional with like the placement and stuff so yeah go get you some go get you some for real for real yeah and then I'm taking um Frosted cherry, and I'm putting it on the outside. Basically, just copying what I did on the top, on the bottom. And look at it. It's coming together. Do you see it? Do you see it? Ah! Okay, the about face. What is this called? 
Cheek Freak and Big O. This is one of my favorite blushes. Like, I love a red blush. And I was looking back at the pictures of me and I forgot, like, what blush I used. And I have to use this blush more. Like, I used to use it all the time when I first bought it. But I love a pink blush too. And I feel like I've been wearing, like, my pink blushes a lot more. But I'm about to wear this again. And look at the pigment. Like, I forgot how in the world I applied it the first time I did it. But, like, when I first used this product, like, the application was like fucking fucking up for me i'm not gonna lie to you and i was like oh i don't like cream blushes but like cream blushes look a vibe like once you figure out how to work with them they are kind of a vibe like because look at that and i know this is hella blush like if you're not a blush girly you might want to get off my page because i'll be putting this shit on like and i'm putting a lot of it on and get you finna go in with some powder me yup but I do take my uh like face setting powder like brush and I just kind of like dust over over it just to make sure like it's all blended. And if I want to tone it down a little bit, like it also helps like tone it down like a slight bit. But now I'm taking the Moira blush and this is the Lucky Chance blush in the shade Mia Rose Seven. And I feel like I put too much on that first because I was like, damn, like I already got enough blush on. And then I put way too much. But it ended up working out, so yeah, I'm just blending it on. I like to put it on my nose, and like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I would love to start putting like more on my face. Like, I sometimes put it on like my chin and stuff, but like, when I be looking at my makeup, and I'm like, look at all the pop of color. Like, I just love blush. Like, I used to not be a blush girly, but I'm such a blush girly now. But I love it for me, I truly do. And now I'm taking the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush. I think this was called Vision Flush Glow, and this is in the shade Majesty. And at first, I used a, a brush to like put this on, but I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like how it looks with a brush. But using your fingers to put this on, a vibe, and I really feel like this just gives like a glow. Like, is it a highlighter? Yes, it's a highlighter, but I don't like. Whenever I do like my no makeup makeup days, I use this, and like it just. It's beautiful. Like, I feel like it's really nice. Like, it truly is a glow. Like, is the highlighter? Yeah, technically. But if you wanna layer this, like, I feel like it also looks cute when you layer it. So I'm taking the Glam Light Hershey's Cookies and Cream Highlighter Palette. And I'm taking like, the Golder shade. <laughs> Golder is not even the word, but the shade that is more gold, but yeah. I realize I don't like using this type of brush for highlighter, but I don't even think I had any other brush clean, or maybe I just wanted to test some stuff out, but I would not use this brush. I don't like this brush for the application for highlighter, you know, just PSA, PSA. But I'ma highlight my brow bone, and I'm highlighting my nose because it's essential. Like, I be forgetting to do it sometimes, and I be like, damn, I'm like, ugh, I forgot to do my highlighter. But yeah, I'm a highlighter girl. Like I know some people like, you know, they're not doing like the crazy highlights that we used to do like in 2016, 2017. No, I love it. I love it. Like Glam Light has like, I think it's the Ricky Morty uh, highlighter palette and like I want it. Cause it's like blue tone, green tone. I think they have one that's like purplish tone and they're like iridescent and like it's such a fucking vibe. These lashes, get into this. Beauty Bakery, look at them. Look at them. Aren't these the cutest things? They're literally shaped as cookies. Like, I had to get them just because of the packaging alone. I was going to put on the first pair, but then I realized I didn't like it. So I ended up taking the second pair, the, like, chocolate chip pair. And this is my lash glue that I got from Beauty Spot Store. It's the I Envy Super Stronghold 3D Eyelash Adhesive in the black. And I just let it dry for a second while I did my molds. And I'm using the Essence uh, Liquid Liner that I used earlier to line my lash line. And now I'm trying to put on my lash. So yeah, I use a mirror, but I put it on and I realized that I did not like it. I liked the lash, but I did not like the lash with the look I had on. So I ended up taking these I Envy flower lashes that I got from the B-Spot store and put these on instead. And now I'm taking my Beauty Bakery lip whips. And I believe this shade is Raspberry Tiramisu. And I'm not gonna lie, these hoes, like, this stuff stay on your lips, like, when I say that this is one of the most, like, smudge-proof, like, lipsticks I've had in a minute, like, no, like, she, I don't know what she put up in here, but, y'all. Yeah. But she also has, like, lip whip removers, and they're, like, little, like, pads that come in this container. Like, I don't know, like, they're, like, basically makeup, like, wipe removers, but it's for the lip whips specifically, so they're safe for your lips and whatnot. But I use those to take them off, so, you know, if you get these, I would probably 
apply those two. And then in the middle, I'm taking the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in the shade Mon Cherry. And it's this beautiful red. Like, it is honestly beautiful. And I love how it looked, like, the lip looked, you know, wet before it dried down. But the dry down look was also a vibe, too. But tell me why this whole look was inspired by someone, like, that follows me on TikTok. But why I get the look wrong? Like, ugh. Why did I sit here? She told me to do like a red eyeshadow and uh, a red gloss. Baby, I showed mixed them holes. Like, why, why I do the opposite? But look at the look. Look at it. Ugh, I love it. If y'all love this look, like, please, you know, comment, like, or subscribe. But then, why I forget my lashes? My, I mean, my, my mascara for my bottom lashes. And then, I also forgot something else. Like, girl, get it together. Cause this is essential okay i'm telling you the about face shadow stick in the shade kill the lights is my holy grail and like i lost the top on mine so like i have to get a new one and i tried to get one at ulta why were they sold out why were they sold out like really y'all like i love y'all and y'all deserve it but like now i gotta order online because i don't know where else to get it but now since i already like put on like the uh, shadow stick on my bottom lash line I take the mascara, the 1994 mascara, and get into it. Like, does that just not elevate the look? Like, it's just mm, chef's kiss. Get into it. Get into the face. Like, can we just talk about how my artistry has truly evolved? I love it for me. Like, the face. Uh, I love it. Ah. What's up, y'all? Uh, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I'm almost done. So, I'm, like, putting on my jewelry and shit. So, I got this, like, black choker. Ugh. This shit, I'm pretty sure this is the one I had when I was in high school, so you know, just the vibes, just the vibes. Uh, I want to do hoops and I want to do one of them with my initial in it. This is a look, this is really a look. I hate this shit look, I love that for me. Damn, is it gonna fit? Is it? No. No. So never mind about that. Maybe I could put it in my nose ring. I'm just gonna eat. That's gonna be a cute picture. I have like more than I need, so I'm trying to figure out which one is which. So they're the right order. Commitment. <laughs> I just saw two, two, two. But I'm I'm stepping up this year. Like, I mean, I feel like I've been gradually getting better and like growing, but it's like y'all thought I was like you know popping my shit last year. <laughs> it's literally January 19th. The month ain't the first month of the year ain't even over with and I've already done looks that I'm just like damn I really ate this shit up like be for real like this year is my year like this year is my year like so I'm not showing my ass I'm just being confident and nobody can shake it so the fuck okay i fuck with it oh i was supposed to put on my other necklace so i thrifted this i like this one i got a jewelry oh i feel like that's too low because in the pictures it's not gonna show up that low Okay, there we go. I got it hooked around my uh, choker too. Okay. It's a vibe, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Well, I'm finna go take pictures and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Also, thank you so much for watching. Like, if y'all have any ideas or, you know, any suggestions, just let your girl know. Okay. Alrighty. Love y'all. Bye.